In Asia, we have two ultra volcanoes. One is Damavand of Iran. This is the highest uh, volcano in the Europe and Asia, Eurasia. Five and a half kilometer, slightly more than that. And, but that is not active at the moment. The one that is in uh, Russia, four and a half kilometer, is the one which is active at the moment. Klyachevskaya Sopka. That has a rupture today. I have a video I played that uh, at the end of this video. You can get the information about the, this volcano. It's fascinating volcano. With these ultra volcanoes, you're almost at the edge of the space. You can see the stars, even in the daylight. Uh, Klyachevska has erupted. This eruption, surprisingly, was after 8.8 uh, 8 magnitude earthquakes in the Kamchatka, off the coast, just right off the coast. This is where the subduction of the Pacific Plate happens, under the Okhotsk and the uh, Eurasian Plate, and part of it also North American Plate, which is in the Alaska. This eruption may be related to that, maybe have relieved the stress, opening up the pathway for the magma. Magma, of course, is not built up immediately. It has to be there for hundreds and thousands of years to erupt. It can be just pure coincidence. But anyway, Klyachevska is an active volcano. It has erupted over the past several months, several times. I have a video about this. Please watch that also. Klyachevska volcano has exploded. The top of the volcano has created a huge ash cloud from the previous eruptions, uh, solidified lava, and a mixture of the new lava also. This is amazing. The height of the ash cloud has risen now to 13 kilometers. That is exactly at the boundary of the stratosphere, top of the troposphere, as you can see. It's blocking the sun gradually. If it reaches the stratosphere, it will be able to freely travel around the world. At the moment, what we can see is that this ash cloud is reaching the boundary. There is a uh, temperature in inversion at that uh, place uh, where the actual stratosphere is slightly hotter than the troposphere, the top of the troposphere. As you can see the rising of the ash. We are witnessing this historic moment. The geologists at the Institute of the uh, uh, um, geophysics in the Kamchatka were able actually to predict this uh, eruption several uh, days before, almost a week before, and announced it to the authorities. So the alarm was raised from uh, normal green to yellow and then red. And this happened just after the red. And you can see that the ash cloud is rising. This will develop into a new situation when it reaches the stratosphere. It will be a class two even or class one this is the troposphere as you can see the thin layer of the atmosphere from the earth to the stratosphere if it reaches that stratosphere it can freely move around the world this is amazing that the scientists were able to predict this uh, eruption in time and more amazing is that uh, we are able to see what's happening there it's the most remote area in the russia almost